What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to a new video on the channel, and welcome to some Forza Horizon 5. Not with the BMW Burst 5. Um, yeah, I... well, not I, but we finally got <coughs> the Mustang GT that uh, we were supposed to get from the Horizon Race Off. So, let's claim it and do stuff to it. If you haven't seen the one of the previous videos that I've made driving this thing completely stock, and you want to see me drive this thing stock, go and watch that, and... Uh, and yeah, 486 rows power, 567 newton meters of torque, and it weighs 1736 kilos, 5.04 liter, uh, a 5 liter basically, V8 out of this thing. And genuinely, driving this thing completely stock, I said that this has the potential to be a really, really good car. I think just stock, this is a really, really nice car to drive. And like I said, I've driven it in the Rivals event in one of my previous videos, and I really, really enjoyed it. And I said, during that video that I think this with a few mods could technically be it has the potential to be a super super good car a really really good handling car so I think in today's video I'm going to try because it grips up really nicely in A class especially it just grips up well it turns in really nicely it's just a little weighty which is the only thing but apart from that, like I said, it just, it, it's just a really, really nice car to drive. So, let's see if we slap on a few parts onto this thing. Can we get it to be a really, really good car to drive? Muscle cars, as of late, have been uh, getting better and better handling. And uh, the GT350 of this also fully shows how good that car actually is around the track. And uh, again, there's like the ZL1 1 LE or some, something like that. There's there's a bunch of different cars that are actually good around the track nowadays. Cadillac have been making like some really really good uh, cars that like could go like toe to toe with the M3s and the uh, Audi RSs and the AMGs. Like they're they're just there around the track, like around corners, not even just in a straight line. So Americans have been uh, have been catching up, and they've been doing some some interesting things. The triple seven body kit for this looks mental. I don't know if I like it. I love that rear diffuser though. That is a mad rear diffuser. I kind of want to put it on just because it's brand new and it's different. I don't know if I like the front fenders too much, to be honest with you. But everything else looks meaty and I love it. And same with the mirrors. I don't know if I like the mirrors that much. This looks sick. It, it brings it up by a little bit, but what, what changes on it? My handling goes up, my braking goes up, or does it just automatically give it wider tires? Or is it just a track width? Surely the body kit doesn't just give it wider track, and that's it. I don't know. Maybe the diffuser actually uh, makes a big, big difference to, to the way this thing handles. Maybe that's the case. Maybe the, the downforce for this thing changes quite a bit, and maybe that's why. Fair enough, we'll do that. Um... I'm not gonna all-wheel drive swap it because that's just criminal. Um, what engine options do we have available for this thing? The <laughs> V8 diesel, 5.2 liter V8, 7.2 liter V8, 7.7 7 V12, and the last but not least, the Viper. I'm not gonna engine swap this thing. I also want to keep this thing. Yeah, man, we we have some. Cause oh my god, what is that? So that's the wing that comes with this kit. <laughs> and then we have the. Oh, man. I kind of want to put it on just because of it's part of the kit. But this is definitely the wing that I'd be putting on, this this APR wing. It just looks so good on it, doesn't it? Um, Let me get rid of this body kit and see what other customization options we actually have available for this thing. Do we have anything else, or is it just a standard Forza front? Yeah, it's just a standard Forza front end. Okay. Well, I'm going to definitely do the wide body swap on this thing. Um, <laughs> It just looks... So funny like this. Um, so we're at 549 now. I'm going to upgrade pretty much everything. I want to bring it to the very least at the top of A class. I want to I want to get it to the very, very top of A class and see how this thing handles then. Because I think it can do really, really well. Race suspension. I want to do weight reduction. And I think I might put on some drag tires on it just, just to see. But I mean, I think I've changed way too many things on it. If I put slick tires on it, it brings it over to S1. My handling is a 6.8. My acceleration in that isn't great by the looks of things. 
What if I just do this? Hmm. I mean, that's not actually too bad. Or about the front end. I mean, the front end surely is gonna jack it up like a crazy amount. Okay. What if I do that and I'll bring it to drag tires? Drag tires brings it back down into into that. Now you may be wondering why would you put drag tires on it? Well, in an A class car, drag tires are actually really really good. Thing is though, now that I'm gonna add more power to it, hopefully I don't get it to spin. Like I need to, I need to try and get this thing to. Okay. This is what it's like in, in A class. It's at 1.8 lateral G's. I don't know if it's really worth putting this body kit on it, to be honest with you. But it weighs a lot less, and it makes a lot more power. And now it's just in A class. So I'm actually very much questioning how fast this is actually going to be. Again, it's on drag tires, so I'm not really expecting it to be, like, the best. But I want to try to see what it's capable of just in A class, first of all. Oh my god, this looks absolutely mental. I didn't change any of the wheels or anything like that, because I feel like if I do, it'll just... Grip in a straight line is perfectly fine. The thing is, grip around corners. Let me change the same steering as well. I immediately recognized that I wasn't done same steering. I short my gear ratios. Yeah, it's not particularly... When I'm on power, it's actually quite nice. Interesting. Not a very high top speed out of this thing. I think my gear ratio is still way too long. Wait, it's short nose. Brakes are unreal. It actually isn't that bad. It turns in quite sharply. I'm doing it on purpose. Like, I'm trying to... to do, like, really sharp turn-ins just to see if it's capable of doing it. Again, it's on drag tires, so I'm not expecting much out of this thing, but... Interesting! Really interesting. All right, I'm bringing it on a on a track. I'm bringing it on a rival event, the Playa Azul track. The reason why I wanted to bring it on this one is it doesn't really have very tight corners, so I think I can like kind of keep my speed up quite a bit with it. That's why I wanted to bring it on here. Um, I'll see basically what it's like. I also feel like I I did say that I want to change my gear ratios and make them shorter, but keeping them like this. Kind of basically makes it a 5-speed for both tracks. And my gear ratios are just long enough that when I start accelerating out of corners, I don't slip. If that makes sense. Like, I can floor out of corners, I think. Then I'm fine. Generally very surprised with the grip out of this thing. It's still really, really good. I think I want to build it all the way to S1. I'm going to give it loads of power, but I'm going to give it the slick tires. I'm still going to keep it rear wheel drive. My ghost is just myself. I just selected my myself as a ghost, which is a load of Samira. It genuinely isn't very... It, it, it's not... It's not disappointing at all. It's it's exactly what I expected it to be. Again, on drag tires as well, it just grips up really nicely. It's definitely faster than the Americas. I'm pretty sure this has like an extra hundred more horsepower than it. It's just how much grip I have during the or like around corners because I'm pretty sure the Amera has slick tires on it. When I brought it around this track. If I remember correctly. But I'm keeping up with it. I am keeping up with it. I wonder what this would be like around the, um, the Golden Toga. I bet, I bet this would be funny. I want to bring this thing into S1, I think. I think it has potential to be a really, really good car. Because right now, like I said, I'm still... I'm still not, like, pulling everything that this car has out of it. If that makes sense. 
Let's build it to S1. I think S1, I think, has a better potential with this guy being really, really good for that. So, we're doing that. Slap on some slick tires. Big wide boys, the front and the rear. 335s in the rear. Uh, even the wheels I'm going to change. I'm going to give it some... Some uh, some nice wheels. Okay, we, uh, I was gonna say I was like Jesus. These these wheels from from Ford are actually really nice and light. You can put these rotor forms on it. Make it look like the RTR Mustang. No, I need to try and find a set of wheels that are like they're like race spec wheels. Usually the wet sport wheels are actually really nice. So something at the at the bottom. Actually, they're not in this class, are they? Uh, yeah, some of these wet sport wheels are like basically race race spec wheels, and they're really nice. I'm gonna put these on. I'm not a big fan of black wheels, but I actually don't really mind those too much. Um, right, back to weight reduction as well. Again, we're now at 870. My handling goes up by a lot. Uh, my top speed isn't great. Acceleration is okay. Launching is seven. Braking is maxed out pretty much. Uh, I also got rid of that wing. I just so much prefer this this wing instead. And. Yeah, that is pretty much it. All right, let's start squeezing power out of this uh, this five liter V eight. Get as much out of it. Oh yeah. Sports exhaust sounds really good. I think from what I can hear. Uh oh. This looks like it needs a turbo or a supercharger. I think we're turboing this. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna give this thing a lot of power. A lot of power for a rear wheel drive car. This is... <laughs> this has got to be questionable. How this is gonna work, but we'll try it out anyway. Wait, what am I... <laughs> okay. Good, because that middle one is actually the nice one. In terms of sound. Oh my god, come on. What, what do I really need to change here? Right, I can do that. Boom. Done. What are we looking at for stats here? 1367, obvious. My lateral G's went up to 2.2. Obviously, we went up in power. Alright, I want to try it out now. I want to try it out now and see what it's like. Alright, I took it on a racetrack. I took it on this racetrack that sometimes you see me hop on to try and uh, test cars out. It is incredibly uneven, by the way, this track, obviously, because it's not made by Playground Games, so... You have these, basically, slats everywhere, instead of the, the ground being even. It's a little... It, it makes the cars a little jumpy, though. I don't mean that type of jump, but, like... But the way the... Jesus. I didn't expect that. Okay, relax, relax, relax. With the way the, the slats are actually connected, this might actually not be a really good track to test this car out on. But in some areas, it's actually so much better than, than others. So, in lower speed corners, I definitely have to be very, very careful with my throttle control. You don't... Absolutely floor out of corners. I I keep not expecting this to turn in as tight as it does. I don't know why. I don't know why because I know it's good. But I keep just not expecting it and then it turns in really tight and then I end up smacking into the tires. Alright, I wanna do a one lap here. We'll skip over the sand. Oh god. That's what I was talking about. I went a bit too fast and I started hopping and then it just My breaking point, which was supposed to be earlier, turned to be a much later breaking point because of the car hopping over these uneven surfaces. It is genuinely such a good car to, to drive, man. 
And again, if you're in the correct gear, you can actually fire out of corners. I mean, see, like in third, I can't. Not for not for tight corners, anyway. Fourth seems to be like one of the best gears though to be in. For these like mid-speed corners. I really like it. I want to bring it on another rival event and try it out. Maybe even play Azul again. I don't know what car I've used there. And I think there's a lot of cars in S1 that are super crazy OP. I think it's just really, really good. So I don't know if this is actually going to be a good car to use on that track. Mm -hmm. I'm done. No, I'm not. So well, it's still got a time. Well, it's actually fun in S1. Um, should we try S2? We could try a little bit of S2 action as well here. All I have to do is all-wheel drive swap it, um, and engine swap it as well. I generally can't even remember what car I use for this. Doesn't matter. We'll just select it. Whatever whatever my next ghost is, we'll try and beat it. Oh, God. This is just going to be a mess, isn't it? it? It just is. I can already tell. It's the first few corners that are going to be annoying because I have to slow down a lot for them. I also stretch my gears out. Oh, it is a BTTB. Oh my god. Oh, the BTTB absolutely flies around corners. Oh my god. Okay, so making this thing all-wheel drive is worse. It completely changed the characteristics of the car. It's now very, very heavy. Over the front end. It, it changes the way it drives completely. Extra power in that is, is cool and it's fun, but yeah, this thing understeers like crazy now. Look at it! Look how far wide it goes! I'm barely doing anything different to, to what I've done before. And it's not even like just speed causing it to understeer. It, it, the front just feels heavy. And I still made it mostly rear bias as well, which is pretty mad. Might have to change or make it even more rear bias. Let's try that. Let's, let's do maybe like 90-10 split or something like that. Alright, change this so it's even more rear bias, even though I don't think that's going to be the, the thing that fixes it. Nah, the front is just heavy, man. The front is just, just, it's just heavier. That doesn't really solve the issue. It's just having extra weight in the front. Ruins it. That sucks. I expected this thing to be a lot better than what it was. I think it's it's quite good in A-class, and then the higher in class that you go, the worse it gets. I feel like S1 as well is probably just, just perfect for it. Keep it rear-wheel drive. Yeah, man, all-wheel drive sucks. That is bad. Yeah, don't don't toggle totally drive swap it. You're gonna ruin the car completely. Keep it rear-wheel drive. I just wanted to keep it. I just wanted to change the all-wheel drive because I was gonna put like this engine in it and have it have almost 1,900 horsepower. Um, but yeah. Anyway. All right. Back to rear-wheel drive. I kept the big boy engine because I wanted 1,000 horsepower. I still left it with really, really wide tires. I did change them a little bit, so they're not, like, as wide, though. But it does still have, like, 275s in the front of, like, 315s on the rear. So I wanted to try it like that, at the very least. So lots of power and really wide wheels. Okay, fourth seems good. Alright, let's uh, bring it up the mountain and give it a shot. Try, try bring it downhill and see what happens. See if it's any use. Okay, I'm also gonna put on drift the uh, drift cam as well. Yeah, that's also fun to to slap on every now and then. All right, Mustang, show me what you got. Are you able to send it sideways without sending it into the walls or into a crowd?
I wasn't paying attention. Can you actually put off-road tires on this thing? It's quite nice to drive like this. Front end still has a ton of grip. I don't think I can squeeze silly angle though. I think just past that point where I stopped there, I think you're going to start to lose it. But with some light angle. This is really smooth to drift though. Ideally, I probably should have went with slightly thinner wheels. But, I think the combination of a thousand horsepower with really wide wheels like this... I guess it kind of makes the steam quite stable. Yeah, there it is. I mean, it is my fault with the way I accelerated there, but... Past a certain point like that, you can definitely uh, you can definitely lose it pretty easy. I definitely wanted a thousand horsepower though. I think a thousand horsepower is like so good for for the downhill section here. I think you can push yourself in and out of corners very easy with a thousand, especially at this weight that I have now, which is like what like thirteen hundred kilos. Yeah, it's it's nice. It's really really smooth. You can kind of put it where put it where you want to. You just can't really have like a a lot of angle with it. It's it's very smooth. Yeah, I mean I can't really complain about the way this thing drives at the moment. It is generally a pleasant car to drive. Or to slide, really. The ratios aren't really the best, I think. I just slapped together what I thought would be useful. Obviously, without me even like fully testing or anything like that, I just kind of put together a set of gear ratios, and I was like, well, I just it kind of adjusted the final drive and went from there. But I'm able to hit limiter in fourth, so that's that's good. Because fourth, I think, also, I can probably do like 150 miles an hour on it. I don't need top speed, obviously, but I'm just saying. Maybe not 150. 120, though, definitely. So it definitely does still have the torque, and it definitely still has the power. Yeah, I like it. I like it as a drift car. It's just, again, it's not it's not very competitive. I feel like this is one of those cars that is like the jack of all trades. Like, you can do pretty much whatever you want with it. Like, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a really quick drag car as well. Especially with the... The really, really wide tires. And if you put the drag, t uh, the drag tires as well on it. And a really, really powerful engine. This can be a really, really good drag car. But... I don't think this is great at anything. It's like the jack of all trades. You're, 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 uh, what's it? Um, oh, what's the, the thing? What's the, the actual phrase? It's like jack of all trades, but master of none. Something, something similar to that. I can't remember what, it's, what it is exactly. It's overall really good, and I like, I'm happy that this guy is in this game, because I, I, I actually really like him in this thing, I think it's really good and really aggressive. Um, but, yeah, in terms of, of, of Forza, um, competitiveness, it's not very good at anything. Like, it's not like overly good at anything to, to warrant it being like a, an OP car or a meta car or whatever you want to call it. I don't feel I don't feel like it is. It doesn't seem to be 
overly crazy good at anything. But that doesn't deter it from being a very good car in general and a very fun car to drive. So, I think we're gonna finish the video off here with the new Mustang. Thank you for watching, everybody. Go try it out for yourselves. Let me know if you built it for anything else other than what you've seen in this video. Maybe it's really good for our product. You know, you never know. Um, but, uh, yeah, try it out for yourselves. Let me know what you think of it. I actually really, really like it. I think it's, it's, uh, it's a really, really good car. It's just not the best at anything, if that makes sense. I feel like they've released a lot of those types of cars in this game. Um, but it's completely fine. Like, I, I, again, like I said, I really, really enjoy the new Mustang. I think it looks great. Oh, yeah, also the interior. I'm going to show it. Because I think I've shown it in the previous video, I just I didn't show it in this one. If you've if you've seen the, the Rivals video I did show the interior. This is basically what it looks like. And it looks great. But I kinda of had a little poke around it in, in the Rivals video that I tried. For people that don't know, in um, in one of my previous videos, I tried this in one of the rival events before the car actually came out. Because you can't actually do that. Um, but yeah. I love the body kit on it. I think it looks incredibly aggressive and it looks really, really good. So I'm happy that this actually has like a custom kit on it. Uh, but yeah, apart from that, uh, I think that's it. Thank you for watching everybody once again. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.